but I freaking eat that shit up and I ate this book up. everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with the next installment of my Roy G. Biv series, which was, was, because I have not filmed one of these videos in five months because I forgot about it, but it was a series on my channel where I would take the colors of the rainbow and recommend books based off of that color. So I did red and orange, those will be linked down below if you want to check those out. And this next installment is yellow books, so without further ado, let us get started. So I did try to pick a variety of different genres in this recommendation video, as I do in all my Roy G. Biv videos, because we don't all want to talk about, you know, straight thrillers because that's mainly what I read, but I tried to pick some different ones. So the first book that I have is a thriller, I will not lie, but it is Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This one, I think personally, is so underrated. So many people hauled it because it was a book of the month book, but then I haven't heard anybody actually talk about it after reading it. But holy crap, you guys, this book was so entertaining. It it does not make a lot of sense and you definitely need to put your believability at the door, but it is so much fun. This one follows a 25 year old named Lux who, after the death of her mother, decides to follow her very charming boyfriend Nico to Maui. When she arrives there, she finds out that their plans to travel the world need to be put on hold because the boat that he has, the Susanna, the engine is broken and he can't afford to fix it. So now months later, Later, Nico comes to her with this opportunity where two college girls, Brittany and Alma, have proposed that if he sails them to this island, they will pay him 50 grand. Lux is hesitant at first to join them on this trip to Moreau Island because it is very isolated. She doesn't know these two girls, but she cannot pass up the opportunity to finally have her dreams come true. So she agrees to join them. And when they arrive there, they discover that there is already a couple living on this island and they become instant friends but then a third stranger shows up and he kind of puts a little twist onto their vacay and it's like the story of that but it is so stinking good like I said. Everybody on this trip has a secret that they are hiding and they quickly come to light and just things blow up real quickly and I just had so much fun reading it. I read it in one night because I was just so enthralled with the story. So I definitely recommend this as my first yellow book that you guys need to check out. The next one I have is The Bones of Ruin by Sarah Rowley. This one is my fantasy pick for this recommendation video. So this follows Iris, who is an African tightrope dancer who is hiding the secret that she cannot die. When her secret is revealed to the public, she is recruited by Adam Temple, who is part of the Enlightenment Committee. They are hosting a tournament of freaks, which is a tournament where a bunch of people with extraordinary abilities will fight in order to determine who the next leader of the committee will be to help lead during the upcoming apocalypse and she agrees in exchange for secrets about her past because she can't remember anything about who she is and it's like the story of that. It is so high stakes, so interesting. The cast of characters is just so intriguing. It also has a solid mystery that you are trying to unravel while reading, so I just think it was a lot of fun. It wasn't what I was expecting, and I could not call a lot of the twists and turns that happened, so I really enjoyed this one. Definitely recommend it. It also is by a Canadian author, so obviously I need to shout that out on this channel and recommend y'all pick up Bones of Ruin. Alright, next up is my romance pick. It is The Bride Test by Helen Huang. This is the companion novel to The Kiss Quotient, which I Will not lie, I did like that book a lot better, but this one was also very enjoyable. So this book follows Kai, who is autistic, and he has very difficult time showing complex emotions such as love and grief, so his mother is very worried that he will never find a bride, so she flies to Vietnam and finds a bride for him. While there, his mother meets Esme, who is a mixed-race girl who is living in the slums. She offers her an opportunity at a better life if she comes to America and 
marries her son. Esme ends up agreeing to this proposal and flies back to meet Kai. She ends up falling for him and kind of struggles with her feelings not being reciprocated and it's her trying to decide what she's going to do in that situation and I just think it was really well done. I really like the autism rep in this especially because it's coming from an author who is also autistic. In the first book the autistic character was Stella and she and Kai are so different which is so true about people who are living with autism. Every single one of them is so unique and different so I really like how that was captured in these books. I just personally thought that this was a very fun cute romance and I definitely recommend all of Helen Huang's book but this happens to be the yellow one so that's why it is included in this recommendation video. The next book I have is a like contemporary thriller. It is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. This one was such a roller coaster of emotions. This one follows 17 year old Enchanted Jones who wants nothing more than to be a R&B singer. She ends up going to an audition and she is noticed by 28 year old recording artist Corey Fields and he promises her the world. She is over the moon excited until she meets the other Corey the not so nice Corey, and it's like the story of their abusive relationship and what she goes through and it is just so heartbreaking. Just the grooming and sexual assault and predatory pedophilia vibes in this book is a lot to handle so definitely go into this with those trigger warnings in mind but I think that it is such an important book and it does show what some people do go through in real life at the hands of men or women but mostly men in power positions. It's just crazy to me that people do this. This book flies by so quickly. I actually listened to it on audiobook, which I highly recommend because the narrator did such an incredible job with Enchanted's voice. So definitely, definitely recommend. But like I said, know the trigger warnings going into it because it is a heavy, heavy book. The next book that I have was so much fun while I read it. It is The Black Coats by Colleen Oakes. This is another one that I think is so underrated. I have never heard anybody talk about it. This is a thriller, a young adult thriller. Like it is definitely Definitely on the more juvenile side but it is so much fun. So this follows a girl named Thea Solomon who after the death of her cousin Natalie is grieving especially because the killer was never brought to justice and so one day at school she receives this invitation from this mysterious organization called the Black Coats and they basically perform balancing against men or women who do harm against other people. Thea becomes the leader of Team Banner, which is a group of four other girls who are going to perform these vigilante missions. And as they go on more of these missions, they earn their inheritance, which is basically the ability to go on one of these vigilante missions, but it is against the person or persons who caused harm to you or your loved ones and it's like the story of that. It was so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. I had very low expectations going into it. I'm not gonna lie but I was pleasantly surprised. The pacing is really well done. I could not put this book down because I just wanted to know more about it. You definitely need to put your believability at the door just like Reckless Girls but if you're able to do that like it is so entertaining and it definitely does cover some dark darker topics that I wasn't expecting but the writing is very basic so it's not like anything too intense. I don't know it was just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. This is another underrated gem in my opinion. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about in my yellow installment of the Roy G. Biv series is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This one is the only Frederick Bachman that I have read but this is like a beloved author on booktube and I definitely want to check out more of their work. This one was a lot of fun. This takes place after a failed robbery where a bunch of people are held hostage in this apartment complex and after the hostages are let go the police enter the building thinking that the robber is still inside and so they start their investigation by interviewing the hostages and it is so funny. This is a hundred percent a character driven book. You fall in love with these characters. One second you are laughing out loud and the next you are trying not to cry. The characters are what Sean in this book. They are just such a quirky cast. 
I love how we are giving little tidbits throughout the story about how all of these characters are somehow intertwined with each other. Those are my favorite type of books. I call them the groundhog books. I don't know what the trope is actually called, but I freaking eat that shit up and I ate this book up. While this book is overly funny, it definitely did hit on some heavier topics like suicide, mental health, what it means to be a parent, things like that, which I wasn't expecting, which I should have with Frederick Bachman, but I just thought this book was really well done. Definitely recommend it for my last book on my yellow book tirade. All right, everybody. So those were my yellow book recommendations for the Roy G. Biv series. Next up is green. When that will happen, who really knows? Hopefully soon. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!